Hi, it's Tim Heidecker standing in front of uh, Nashville's famous Knoll building. Hi, Office Hours viewers and listeners. This is DJ Doug Pound, and I really miss Tim and Vic. And I'm excited to report that today's episode is a classic best of Office Hours. We wish we could be live, but as you know, I'm out here on the road with Vic Berger and a very good band. I can't take it anymore, so we're going to have to show you the greatest hits of Office Hours today. All right? And I know you miss my signature drops. Dog. And you'll be getting them next week, live in the studio. And we hope you enjoy some of our favorite moments from Office Hours Live. You're going to enjoy it. I how can't many, wait to, uh, I how, can't, many, uh, how many activities of the day are in this? I'm not sure. I haven't uh, scanned the footage yet. But I got some good news. Now I get to go skateboarding because I, I, we're going to be showing greatest hits of Office Hours today. It's going to be a lot of activities of the day. Probably all of them are in there, and uh, you guys can use that to calm down, you know, get your intrusive thoughts going, get them spinning and leave your house. Go ahead. I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like to laugh. I like having fun to meet people who laugh. A lot of nerves here because we're, 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 I consider us friends. Yeah. You know. Yeah, a lot of people in show business definitely acquaintances. Yes, but we, we yeah. go way, we go back now. We yeah, can say I would we say go back. So. Yeah. And you know, you've, I have pictures of you holding my children. Yeah. Yeah. I've running pictures of me holding you, <laughs> <laughs> trying to Please, pick you right. up. But I want this to go well. And so I just thought we could start with a little something a little more formal. We usually are, it's usually much more loose as it is yeah. right now. Yeah. But I think because we're recording this and some things let's are going it. to live yeah. in posterity, yeah. let's just stick to the script. Exactly. So hey everybody, all right, let's take <laughs> pretend we're just This show is loose. I like that. No, it's not loose. It's t it's tight. Um Hey everybody. Hey everyone, I should say, hey, I'm just gonna read this. I could riff off this, but I'm gonna no, read it. No, do it right. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Office Hours Live. I'm your host, Tim Heidecker, and my guest today is the one and only Bob Odenkirk. Hey Tim, happy to be here. We're so glad to hear that. <laughs> We've got a lot to get to, but why don't we start with a simple one. What have you been up to? Oof, well, I recently had a heart attack. I'm currently <laughs> starring in no. Better Call Saul, which is on the AMC movie channel. I was also in Mr. Show and other movies. Cool. And what was this uh, movie Nobody you were in all about? Uh, well, it's an action movie, Tim, where I fight bad guys to protect my family. And you wrote a book? Yes. Is it an autobiography? Yes. Tell me more about the book and the new show on AMC. <laughs> well, the book is about my life and uh -huh. growing up, as well as many jobs I've ha had as an actor and a writer. My new show, Better Call Paul, Better is about call my Saul. <laughs> character Saul Goodman, yeah. who was on Breaking Bad, starring Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. It's right. the story of a lawyer in Mexico. Is it a lot of fun to be an actor? Yeah, it's fun, but it's also hard work. Did you always want to be an actor? Yes. What time is the show Better Call Saul on? <laughs> it's on 9 p.m. on AMC. 9 p.m. it is, and I will be tuning in. <laughs> I'll be tuning in as well <laughs> to watch myself. Uh -huh. I also tune in each and every week to Office Hours Live with Tim Heidecker. It is a fun show, and Tim, as you are already uh, aware, I love to laugh. So thank you for inviting me on as a guest, Tim, and sign up for the Patreon while you're at it, okay? Uh -huh. Patreon.com slash back Office Hours Live. Thanks, Bob, for your support. End. All right, well, thanks for coming in. <laughs> All right, Eric, what are we cooking here? Everyone's... Today well, everyone loves burgers. Everyone loves a burger. <laughs> Am I not going to do that? And, you know, back in Philadelphia, we were a big burger guys. You know, just that's what it was. These big, sloppy, drippy, two-pounders. Greasy boys. Yeah, then he moved to California. Smash burgers, everyone knows about it. It's a craze. Yeah. Super crispy, super charred, and that's what's in my book. We do a smash heim. My secret sauce, I'm going to put you to work today to make a delicious smash heim. So what we're gonna do first is you gotta butter your buns. Spread that out a little bit. Here's the secret to smash time right here. You don't even have to buy the goddamn book. We put some bacon in that. <laughs> butter buns, let's put it in. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, that sizzle, Vic! How's that sizzle, Cam? Let's start with the sauce. So, Eric's secret sauce, it's really easy. It's just the same amount of mayo, 
ketchup, mustard, a little bit of sriracha if you want that kick, which I think mm. you do. Ready? <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Ready? Get it in. Yes, Oh, that's really nice. And then a little bit of relish. It's almost like a French mm -hmm. you know, Thousand Island dressing with a little kick. Now, I didn't do a precise measure. That looks pretty close. What do you think looks I did? very close. Like? Let me just do a dippler. A dippler. <laughs> All right, we're salt. Vic's biking the onions. <laughs> All right, how are we doing here? You ready to make the patty? Yeah, why don't you do another butter bun yes, when I'm, while I'm mixing the meat? We got the bacon in the ground beef. I'm gonna do a quick mix. Salt and pepper, of course. Always be aggressive with your salt and pepper. Now we just make, go, 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 make go, like go. a three ounce patty. That's three what, ounce. That's what you just for. eyeballing that. You're just eyeballing it. What are we it. looking for? Like a bigger than a baseball, bigger than a small ball. Bigger than a baseball, smaller than a golf ball. What you want is when it flattens, you get beef that's coming out of that bun. Okay. Get your grill screaming hot. I'm talking 10. Let me, t let me test. Oh, that's hot. Big butter patty right on the base of this. Let's drop it right in. There we go. Wow, look at that, Vic. It's going nuts. We take our parchment paper, place it down. Now we smash. Get in there. Yeah. <laughs> really put some pressure on there. Wow. It's a bit of a workout. Look yeah. how big that is. Get in there. <laughs> yeah. Bigger than the bun. Look at that. And that's how we smash here. Okay. And now you're not putting no, no lettuce or tomato on. There's nothing. Hell no. Oh, oh! There she is. Look at that. Right when you flip, <laughs> you drop the American cheese right on there. We're in American cheese. Yeah. I'm definitely having the first burger. <laughs> um, my house, my rules. Look at that. Look at that crisp edge on that. Oh, that crisp. That crisp. Oh, that crisp. That crap! Oh, that crap! That crap! Ooh, that crap! <laughs> Thought you'd wear something colorful, just something a little more Christmassy. I had a really hard year and I wasn't able to coordinate the outfit tonight. I'm sorry. Thank you. Are you enjoying the show? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, great. All right. Well, thanks <laughs> for coming out. It was an act. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Stop that. <laughs> So what's been going on? All righty then. So much. <laughs> you can only imagine. No, it's, um, it's exciting to be out uh, for Christmas. <laughs> the day after Easter, I go, when is it? Yeah. Right? I, can, I just get you so anxious. You seem like you're a big Christmas head. I'm more of an Easter girl. Oh, but really? yeah, but Christmas, Christmas would be second for me. What does it do to you, Christmas? What? It mm -hmm. just, there's something about it. Well, I have four girls. They're four, two, eight, and 12. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's really for them. Yeah. And so me and their dad, yeah. <laughs> we go crazy at the house. Oh, my God. And I, Christmas is next weekend. Okay? It's next weekend. <laughs> I can't believe that. And I looked wow. and I just, I called. Are you ready for it? I, mean, I called Mark and I said, we're fucked. It's next <laughs> week. And the girls are going quite crazy. So you're not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> but, uh, but this is like every year. And then Mark says, this is what you do every year. Yeah. You freak out. And then, but of course, I'm the one writing presents all night. Where is he? Asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you have like anything wrapped yet? Or is, what is going on? Nothing's wrapped. The rec room is a, is a mess. Do you have decorations? I up? have decorations in boxes. They're starting oh, no. to come out, and the girls like to help. But it, it takes more time. That and every year I go, I'm gonna write myself a letter. I'm gonna go. Don't leave it to the last minute. Get the girls down early. Make them help. Kind of enforce that on them. Um, but I never do. Now, when do you? <laughs> <laughs> When, uh, do you have a tree? We have two trees. <laughs> what is this light? No, I want that. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did. We have she, two trees at the house. Two she lights. For, <laughs> yeah. They have a big house. They're in conversation. Oh, really? Because kind of, if you have one, what's the statement? Mm -hmm. Only in proximity to something else does a message really come across, right? And that's applicable to so much in life as well. And I see a lot of people nodding and even a few tears, so that's good. So you... <laughs> The two trees are in the same room together. 
You know, they're sort of scattered. They're, um, they're directly in opposition. They're in the same, are they in the same room? They can see each other. Picture, close your eyes and picture, picture your house. I'm picturing the house. Again, it was a hard year, so there's a lot of other imagery coming up. But, um, yeah, one's in the den, one's in the, uh, in the other one. So, yeah. They're in conversation. I lost the question. What do you mean they're in conversation? I just mean they're in conversation. There's kind of a solemn acknowledgement from one to the other, and they, they're kind of in static opposition. They, they don't move, of course, right. but they do. There's uh-huh. kind of a dance, there's that choreography of decorations and, and Christmas, and I'm, I'm always moved by, again, more of an Easter girl, but I do. Um, <laughs> what is ba- it about Easter you When like you break so out a basket, it just changes. There's something, I don't know. I, yeah. it's, it's the eggs, <laughs> it's the imagery, it's the hiding, uh-huh. and the girls go crazy. Two, um, four, what is it? Two? And twelve, nine and no, twelve. <laughs> nine and twelve. <laughs> and I forget. I laugh. I'm laughing because of how fulfilling my private life is and yeah. how I'm yeah. so happy I have I have work and I love yeah. the boys and I love all that the energy yeah, from you boys. But um What's your tradition? I love it, my girls at home. Yeah. Yeah. We have Eric Bowser. You're the voices of all the uh, Daffy, uh, Porky, Foghorn, Elmer. Marvin the Martian isn't that lovely, Earth creature. Wow. Yes. Wow. I enjoy office hours live, but it blocks my view of Venus. Extremely woe waiting. <laughs> <laughs> very, very woe. Liam, uh, uh, money mark. He's uh, here. Wow. You're stuttering, kid. Why don't you spit it out? What do you want me to do? I can't take it any longer. I quit. Oh, yeah? You're going to quit? That's right, Well, Mo. we'll find somebody else to do your job. We'll put on a bozo to clown wig and be just fine. Well, good luck to you. Let's go, Curly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right, Doc. Thanks oh. for having me. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Daffy, which to me is Richard Dreyfus with a lift. Uh, it really is. Yes. It really is. Uh, yes. I'll say, I'll say Green Island is like uh, the freeway between here and Pasadena. No curve. Like an episode of Scoob with Shaggy. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Tim and Eric, they're so funny. There it is, another one. <laughs> they're so hilarious. Tattoo, bring these bags to their room. Your body? Your body. <laughs> is a wonderland. Is a wonderland. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, these Canadians, they come over the border. <laughs> and they take all the jobs. You know, we got to build a wall around Canada. Mm. French fries, cheese, and gravy. I, I believe they call it Putin. Oh. oh. It's a food they like. And I could have Putin in my mouth <laughs> all day. Yeah. Hey, guys. You know, Biden, Biden. Don, Don Jr., yeah, get Biden back to your room. The, Biden is in the radical liberals are making it so hard for everybody. Honey, <laughs> we got a big problem. Oh, what's that, Fred? <laughs> the dinosaur just took a big shit on our car. Oh, no. Yeah. I gotta get my shovel. Enough's enough. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Is everything okay? <laughs> sure, Paul. Why would it not be okay? It's fine. How are you guys? It's inspired by me. I'm good. You look. I haven't different. seen you in red before. Yeah. <laughs> you look different. It's younger you today. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. I went down to uh, the world famous uh, wig master, uh, Paul Blackstone, and uh, he gave me a uh, unique and special look <laughs> that uh, has really has changed my life, to be quite honest. Can you get even closer to camera? Can we get, get a close up on that? Oh, uh, yeah. Can what does it, what does it look it... like from behind? <laughs> can we see oh, the are... reverse? <laughs> Can you describe how it changed your life in a few ways? Maybe? <laughs> they don't. They have, there's a different tone, a different uh, like coloring. That. That's cool. Between the your natural hair and your uh, new piece there. Well, I can't see what it looks like back there. What do you, does it look good from the front? It does looks it look great. good? Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks. Good, I mean, I, when I go into a store or something, I mean, I'm getting looks from people that that tell me, "Hey, this guy's got he's got something," and something uh, I can just I feel the confidence, more confident, mm. and uh, it's you know good. How does it stay on? Is it Love taped it. up there, or does it come easy on, easy off? Or uh, I mean, it is just. 
it's clipped um and it it's uh a little bit of glue um can you swim and, in it uh yeah i can swim in it and um you know uh mr blackstone he said you know uh because i just mm -hmm. got this and he said it's gonna itch uh it's gonna, it's gonna itch for a couple of weeks uh -huh. but it's gonna uh that'll go away it's kind of like you know you grow a beard it kind of itches um at the beginning <laughs> but uh so i'm getting used to it and and uh uh, I haven't, my wife, I haven't seen her since I started wearing this. <laughs> yeah, uh, where she you been? haven't seen her. Where is she? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let my wife do it. She doesn't work. But, um, <laughs> all right. I well, can wear it. Like I can wear it with my Newt Gingrich oh, hat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Your Newt Gingrich hat. <laughs> Which uh -huh. is a good look. Yeah. And, um, I'm loving it. Sounds like it, Phil. Well, good for you. You look, get used to it. It's funny with the red shirt and the ear things in. You look like uh, like you're on Star Trek or something. I don't know. <laughs> Very interesting. It's a good show. Yeah. No, you look I cool. I take that as a compliment. It's weird. The color is odd. I just want to get out, get that out of the way. The color is odd because your eyebrows are very dark, uh, and the and then you got salt and pepper going on in the back, and then we have this shock of kind of orange up top. So well, it's this not... is an this is an autumn. This is uh this is my autumn look. Uh, you know, I got the leaves are changing colors, and uh, that's uh, sort of the look I'm going for. Mm -hmm. Get some cinnamon up and, there, uh, salt, pepper, cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. So, what color will you get springtime? Oh, that's a that's a good question. Green. Uh, green. So you will change uh, your wigs. So you'll you'll too swap. natural, but you'll just do different wigs, or do you dye that wig, or what? How does that work? Yeah, you can swap them out. I can. Uh, Mr. Blackstone will exchange them. Uh, Let me ask and, you a question. Uh, how much? Yeah. How much a wig like that go for? Uh, this is probably about nine hundred bucks. It's <laughs> wow. uh, human hair. Uh huh. Yeah, well, professional. I'm happy for it. Whatever to, makes you happy, my... we're supportive of it. Yeah. I'm warning you with peace and love. You're about to watch someone. <laughs> You're gonna watch, watch some of Vic's original work. We've been collecting these lick lip clips. And we said, Vic, you want to put a little sauce on this? You want to do a little bit of what you do? And he came back, sent us a thing. I'm telling you, I was screaming. My fa my family thought there was something wrong with me. I was screaming. I don't want to oversell it, I but I also no, probably not. I also great. want you to be prepared that you guys are going to lose your shit right now. So hang on to something. <laughs> and let's take it away with the Ronnie Wood. Uh, this is a. Uh, super size Ronnie Wood special edition lick lips lick lips with Ronnie Wood video coming at you right now on Office Hours. Mm. Yeah, um, you know Brian Wilson sort of proved himself to be like a really amazing composer. <laughs> yeah, and I was into chords and harmonies and stuff at that time, and we ended up it's kind of like a rivalry. Yeah, we'd put a song out, and Brian would hear it, and he'd do one. <laughs> it's just nice, it's like me and John. You know, you kind of <laughs> try and top each other all the time. But um, he eventually came out with this "God Only Knows." That was Pet Sounds time. On, right? on, on Pet Sounds, yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, there it is. You're so devious, Vic, because we, you're, you're just like you're scrolling forward and backward over this moment that really is a very insignificant right, moment. Right, right. But, but then he, he uh, does those licks a lot, though. Something's going on. There. I love Ronnie's like fully in a some kind of drug or alcohol <laughs> or rock zone uh -huh, he's playing, uh -huh. and then that lick starts like something's something's licking your face, and then you kind of snap he, out of he it. He comes out of it when when Nick licks his tongue off his mouth. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> hey, we're on fucking. Rock. That's from Saturday Night Live, actually. I think that clip. We're yeah. on fucking TV, Mick. You fucking lick my lips. <laughs> What's the matter with you? 
Fucking stay away. Only I lick my lips. Don't lick me anymore. <laughs> Don't come in my fucking face and lick my lips with your fucking tongue. Your cigarette breath all over my l- n- nose. He got great show. so long, too, yeah. until he's until he's hey, Oh, great show. Great show, Ronnie. Great. Oh, that was great. This is Keith coming up to Ronnie after the show. Great show, Ronnie. <laughs> it was fucking great, man. Saturday Night Live, man. Saturday Night Live. Great playing. What's the matter, Ronnie? <laughs> Fuck off. What's the matter, man? Did you see me? He come up and licked me right in the fucking mouth. <laughs> With his fucking gross fucking beer breath, he licked me right on the fucking mouth, and they had a fucking close up on me, and now everyone's laughing at me. It's all right, man. It's rock and roll. <laughs> it's not fucking rock and roll, man. That's not what I signed up for, Keith. You don't see Rod Stewart fucking licking my face in the fucking faces. <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. You tell me. If he licks me one more time, he's going to get it in the fucking jaw. Oh, you're going to fucking knock him the fuck out. <laughs> Everybody just do now. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ronnie, it's me, Mick. <laughs> I apologise, all right? I thought you'd be into it. I thought it was just a nice playful moment with the two of us. <laughs> but don't do it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do a cartoon that's just uh, all these rock stories of these guys. Maybe Mick is, is jealous because he doesn't have a guitar. He can't do licks. He's, yeah. Right, so he's like, I'll I do me get own my licks, licks in. I'll do me. I gotta get me licks in somehow. <laughs> oh, dear. You're sulking over there, Ronnie. What happened? Right. Uh, Charlie Watts goes, you're soaking over there, Ronnie. What happened? You had a bad show? Out of tune? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hear yourself in the monitors? <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> Mick licked me again. <laughs> licked me right in the fucking nose. His fucking tongue went up me nostril. Maybe he's trying to get some of that cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming up there like a hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take a... I'm going to walk out a little bit. Hold on. You're gonna what? I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a breather, like get some air or something. Jeez, you're <sighs> what's going on? I I don't know. You okay? Yeah. Can you guys do the show? Like, I'm just gonna step out. Oh, jeez. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Right, watch uh, my dog. I'll be back. Well, take the. Take, take, Vic, yeah, take take I'll the. I'll keep uh, an eye on the dog. Don't worry about take it. Take the Vic Vision. Would you have Vic Vision right. today? Is it up? Take Vic, Vic Vision with you in case something right. happens. All right. Get some fresh right, I'll, air. I'll be alright. I'll be like in a couple minutes. I'll be alright. Jeez. Thank you. My goodness, weird. That happened to you a few years ago. Remember that you had the you had the bathroom situation at yeah. the old office. That was pretty. Well, intense. sometimes it happens. I mean, like a diarrhea situation. I, well, I had a panic attack. He had a panic. Attack. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, came out of nowhere, and it really. I mean, they always do. I don't want to get. I don't think get into that right now. I hope he's not having one of those because those suck. Well, it's nice out right now. It's perfect temperature out there. Let him just catch his breath. In fact, why don't I got we put... plenty of drops, Tim. I can cover. For oh, me. we can cover. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about my friend. Okay. Um, let's, uh, Wes, do we have Vic Vision working? Let's see what's yes. going on. Check in Whoa. on that. What the fuck? Where? Vic? What the hell? Where That's the hell outside is... your house, Tim? No, it's not outside my that house. It doesn't look that, like. That's, that's in some kind of other dimension or something. That. Vic, can you hear me? Maybe he took a... Glendale Vic? has... This is... I'm a little worried about it. We might be... Have... I don't know where I am. Whoa. Tim, can you can you come outside? Did he take those gummies today? Yeah, he, he's been taking those gummies, I he think. He ate them today, I, before the show? Something. Matt, is Vic? it okay to How take <laughs> drugs before the show? I mean... Vic, come back business. to me, baby. Where are you, are you, man? Are you there? Tim, Tim, I'm, I am here. I, um, Where are you? You're, I'm, I'm outside. I walked right outside. Now. I walk outside, and, and this is what happened. But we don't, if, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching at home, I don't live in the middle of the desert, Capiche. So <sighs> well, somehow uh, your, your big vision has accessed your it's, trip that you're on. This is... <sighs> I mean, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 does anyone, how, Vic, how many gummies did you eat? Oh, I, I, t- I ate like two bags. And two I, bags? I, I You're moved, supposed to have like I, one gummy. Oh, and I Let boofed me, the other you half. You know what? Let me see. Um, what can we do here? This Matt, is, uh, do you have any ideas? If I make it, tell my kids. If I don't make it, tell my kids I love them. 
Where are you? We gotta talk him down or something. Vic, uh, you're gonna be all right, buddy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run around. If a you don't bit. make it, I'll take care of the dog. I'll put it, I'll set it free at the, in the forest. Okay. I wonder if or, somebody can help. Do we have anybody? Let's see the chat. Is there anybody, uh, any experts in here? Like a drug expert? You know what? Uh, this is crazy. I'm kind of uh, starstruck right now. We have wait. somebody. Ham. We have Hamilton. Is that I, really I, Hamilton? Oh my Lewis? gosh. Let me see. Looks. Like He's in the chat. Anyone? Anybody? He's in the help zoom. Me. He's in this. I see him right there. Is Hamilton. This, I don't know if I'm hallucinating. Hamilton. Are you Hamilton. There? Are you there? I'm here. Hello. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Oh, what are the chances? What? This is a little. I'm this a little freaked kind of out. Uh, just because. What are the odds that you'd be in the? I didn't know. I didn't. I don't know you. I don't. I didn't know you were a fan of the show. And here you are. And my friend Vic is having a, some trouble with. With these uh, uh, psilocybin mushroom psilocybin. pills or, or uh, gummies, is there something you could say to him that can help him come off the get back from this uh, desert wasteland? They're strawberry flavored. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he doesn't need to worry. Vic's gonna be totally fine. He ate a you know a fungus in the genus psilocybe. You know, contains a, a drug, psilocybin, and uh -huh. that it's a pro drug. But he doesn't need to worry about that. There's you know there's lots of enzymes in your body that will cleave that phosphate ester and liberate psilocin, and that is going to enter his brain. I mean, quintillions of molecules are going to enter his brain, Jesus. and they are going to travel to the cerebral cortex, to cortical pyramidal neurons, bind to the 5-HT2A receptor, 5-HT1A receptor. It's going to activate a signaling cascade intracellularly, and there's going to be you know, release of calcium from intracellular stores, but he's going to be fine. Did you say it was a pro drug? Yeah, it's a pro drug. What does that mean? It means it's inactive until it is metabolically transformed into an active species. Okay, that oh, doesn't. Is this helping Vic? Does any of that it's click? getting worse? It's getting worse. It's getting worse. No, 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 no. That's not what we discussed. I don't know. That's not what we discussed. This this has to be helping, right, Vic? It's helping a lot. And, okay, and good. Yes, and I, just the more I think about it, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, step inside here, okay? okay? I, I feel a little better now, okay? Are you a student who wants to be cool but doesn't want to flunk out of school? You don't want to get A's either. A's are for nerds. With this DVD, I'll teach you just enough math and science to get those B's. You don't want people to think you're some kind of egghead. I get straight A's, A+. Because B's are just right. Not too dumb, not too bright. I'm Kevin Morby, and this is The Base, Me Like Bees, and Me Like DVD. I made way too many of these fucking DVDs. They're in the back of my Ford, and I'd rather push a Ford than drive a Chevy. If you don't buy this DVD, I'll drive the Ford straight into the Pacific Ocean. Don't believe me? Here's what a satisfied customer says. I watched Kevin Morby's More of Bees DVDs, and my grades went from D's and C's to big fat B's. I'm glad I didn't get any A's. Thanks, Kevin. If you want to grow up to be a slacker indie rocker just like me, you're going to need Kevin Morby's More Bees on DVD. Kevin Morby's More Bees DVD, only available at the merch table at Kevin Morby Concerts. Anyway, Doug, you've got some, you got a new segment we're doing called ED, Doug's EDM News. Yeah, EDM News. <laughs> <laughs> After months of single drops, Hardwell finally releases his full-length album, Rebels Never, Rebels Never Die. That is guaranteed Rebels to be die. full of bangers. <laughs> Luca Jakar continues his musical legacy as he releases his latest EP, Supreme Emptiness. Uh -huh. Alien Wobbleberg <laughs> from Wookie just dropped their debut release, Wobble Drug. As you, you want me to do this bug. going forward? Huh? You want me to do this going forward? <laughs> <laughs> this is about as good as you do my ass. <laughs> oh! <laughs> burn, boy. Burn, baby, burn. Grizz. Grizz is in the news. He just dropped <laughs> his Grizzmas live show. His live show is back December 9th and 10th at the Masonic Temple in Detroit. Nice. Mr. Black fuses music and technology. <laughs> Mr. Black. With a mind-blowing live set using Tesla electric vehicles. Oh. What? What? Oh. You're just the sound system from Tesla's? <laughs> Rez. Were silent. Rez is <laughs> back. She just announced her new label, Hypnovision. Motez teams up with Screw Fizzer. 
for the blistering house track, Get It Done. And that's EDM news for the week. Thank you, Doug, for the update. Congratulations to all the artists who are continuing. To... I'm glad to know what's going on with Mr. Black. I was yeah, wondering. I know. Wait, so Mr. Black uses Teslas as part of his live show? That's the headline I read. <laughs> Mr. Black. <laughs> Let's take a hothead hotline. Is there anybody on the hothead hotline? <clears throat> Let's see, Wes, can you run the number real quick? Let's see if anybody... Okay, oh yeah, we got. We do have somebody. Ran Randy. Randy. Randy, are you there? Randy, you're on the line. Can you hear us? Hello. Uh, hello. Hey, Randy. What can I do for you? Yeah, hi. How are you? Uh, well, my daughter, I'm, this is Randy Newman, and my daughter said huh? you said some very nice things about me, so I wanted to call you and thank you. <laughs> okay. Who, is this a joke? Huh? No. The Randy it, Newman. It is high. This is not Randy yeah, Newman. Not. Get out of here. Who is this? <laughs> okay. It is. It is. Why, why would I lie? Well, it probably is a prank. People like to prank me. They know that I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. And I got Kurt Vile well, here, you. who's a huge fan. I've covered. Well, I'm a fan of his as well. No. -uh. Wait a minute. This is not Randy Newman. Just drop it, dude. <laughs> who? <laughs> who is this? Huh? Well, well, let me let me let me think about that for a second. No, this is this is really Randy Newman. I I'd never. I'm gonna cry. That. Wait a minute. Why would uh, he know the hothead hotline? Let me, I mean, let me, I, if this amazing. is Randy Newman, I don't believe yeah, it is, but I'll, it let's, is. let's, let's, let's do a little quiz, a little Randy yeah. Newman quiz. Yes, Randy. All right. Um, yes. Yeah, go okay, ahead. Go. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. How old are, how old is Randy Newman? Uh, 77. Hello, Newman. Right. So he's got the same Wikipedia open that right. I got. He's good. <laughs> this guy's good. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Newman. Hmm. No, I really, I, I, uh, <laughs> my daughter's a big fan of the show, and, and I, I've watched it some, and, and, uh... What do you think? I'm a fan as well. I like it. Really? I like your voice. I like your voice, too. You mean, yeah, wait... you sound like Clapton. Kurt, <laughs> Kurt Vile? Are you talking about Kurt Vile or Tim Heidecker? Tim. Okay. <laughs> I sound like Kurt Clapton? sounds like... Yeah, who do I, I sound think like? so, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this, uh... What do you think of Eric Clapton? Uh, I, I like him. Uh, he seemed nice enough when I met him. Tim, I think it's really. Yeah, uh, I never have quite understood the the extreme, you know, sort of veneration for him among guitar players. You know, he. Uh, that's just stupid to talk this way, but I mean. No, well, I want played... you to be frank with me, Randy. I don't want you to be <laughs> okay. Randy with me. <laughs> He, he plays, he plays, uh, I don't know, one note at a time. Yeah. Slow. How, what? <laughs> yeah, som sometimes. <laughs> how many, how many notes at a time do you play? I can play five, six notes at a time. <laughs> oh, man. I really can. I love it. <laughs> I love you. Hotliner, what's your name? My name is, uh, Court. Court. Is yeah, yeah, Court. C-O-U-R-T. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I want to play a game called Fantasy Basketball. Close your eyes. Happy to close them. There's nothing for me to look at. Yeah, okay, so close your eyes, and then just imagine you're just running down the court, dribbling the ball. Got it. Going down court. You're doing a spin move. Whoop. Look out. And then, all right, so now you play Fantasy Basketball. You're, you're the opposing team. I'm dribbling against you, right? Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm coming at you, Tim. Do a through the leg. Oh. Is this the game? We're actually just playing <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> uh -oh. I, got, I know. I'm going to grab your ball and pop it. All right. I blocked the ball. I blo yeah, you took a shot oh, and I blocked the win. shot. I stuffed you. Oh, nice. Wow, and then I, I grabbed it and I ran down the other oh. end and then I did a slam dunk and the back uh, glass broke. Oh, oh, nice, nice work, oh, buddy. Shattered it. Oh. Nice. What about Frank? I want nice. to know Frankie's fans. Oh, Neil on yeah. that ass. Where are you at, uh, Frankie? Well, I just grabbed the ball and went between his legs and he's like, oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Like, oh, I'm lay up. <laughs> Pass over to Will Sheff, who's our center. I, I pull his... a chain and a hundred other basketballs fall from the ceiling. Oh, I don't wow. know which is the right chaos. one. chaos. 
It's wow. chaos on the court. And then I high five Captain Carlin. What did he do? Ejected you from the game because he's the referee. <laughs> <laughs> that was a delight. That Thank you. Very, yeah, yeah, it's very relaxing. Cool. I'm going to do that later yeah, tonight yeah. when I'm trying Thanks to go to sleep. Good that. game. That was a fun set. Good game. You guys Just in the showers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Peterson's new rules. Change the oil in your car every 3,000 miles. Do not leave your car running with the garage door closed. Turn off your phone, turn off your GPS or maps software and just go for a drive. Just get out on the open road and have no plans of where you're going. These are all... <laughs> these are like, roll, uh, these are like ru rules, of, rules of the road. Hell, just let yourself get lost. Hell, that's a good, that's a perfect impression right there. Just the word, hell, 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 hell. I'd be the first to tell you if, it, if there was an easier way. Hell, solve disagreements with a drag race. Run over a squirrel if you encounter one in the street. If you merely maim it, back up and finish the job. Drive barefoot. Ignore pedestrians. It's their responsibility to avoid you. It's a hierarchy of driving. Remove your muffler. And do not be afraid to rev your engines at stoplights. It brings out your internal male rage that lies beneath the surface that society shuns and cancels so often because before you are able to display to the world, you'll feel the rage burning psychologically. You'll feel it in your solar plexus. <laughs> Put your hand, he, I notice when he gets emotional, he starts getting really high. Put your hand on your heart when a DeLorean drives past. They rare, they're rare to see these days, but also Back to the Future is my favorite movie. I'm kind of getting a little pissed as well. I'm getting, I'm annoyed. You can tell I'm annoyed because of the Burger Clan back there. Like I feel like <laughs> I'm drone. getting whole, whole Doug. You know drone. what I mean? I'm getting, I'm getting holes drilled in the back of my head <laughs> by this one. Hey, oh, I, I, I'm trying to stay up. Follow you here. That's all. <laughs> Matt, does he have to sit there? Oh, what, what do you want me to do? Is there wow. somebody he that is could, like throw me out? I, I, I hate to I, you throw me ask. out, would you? Oh my god! So get him out. You hey. want us to get him out? Get him out of here! Get him out! Get him, out. Here, get him, out. Oh, get him the oh, hell out! Oh, He's resisting. Oh, He's resisting. Oh, cameras. oh my god! Oh. Get him out! <laughs> get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Wow! Get him out! That's the bit. That's the bit. Whoa! It's my show. Thank you. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. it's all been a big goof. Thank you. We have with us in the studio an actual American gladiator. Whoa, That's right. Yeah, baby. We got Malibu here. What's up? Malibu in the house. Malibu, one of the old original. Number two is not in America's DNA. <laughs> Are you watching this shit show? Oh, man. I'm howling. You hear me? You loving it? They keep going. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Hi, I'm Dave England. And when I'm not pooping on the big screen or drinking pig semen, I prefer drinking drinkable tomato sauce from Chef Boyardee's drinkable sauce kit. And boy, are ye gonna love it. Here's how it works. Just grab a can of Chef Boyardee pasta from your cupboard, strain out the pasta with the included strainer, Add some water with the included measuring cup. Shake it up and enjoy. Mmm. Move over, V8. Get a life, Mox, because Boyardee is a joy heart tea in your mouth. And boy, are me bowels stimulated after just a few sips. Now I'm ready to take a shit. Available exclusively at Come and Go gas stations. So, you know, speaking about like, uh, like being happy and, and everything, I always get these intrusive thoughts, you know, going on. And, yeah. and what I've learned is that you need to s separate your thoughts from you. You're, you're not your thoughts and you can like, you can separate them and you can accept them or not buy them, push them away. So I always get these like negative thoughts coming at me, like whatever, you're bald, you're fat, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I'm if it's bald, true, Jerry. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, but it's no, anyway. But like, but now I just like, I close my eyes, visualize it, breathe, and, and it goes away. 
So I wanted to try that with you guys, with okay. everybody, if everybody could try this. So um, basically what you do is to be more grateful to yourself, you thank the, your brain for the thought. When you get like an intrusive thought, like mm. whatever it is, you say, thank you for that brain. Uh, but it's not helpful I'm not right using, now. I'm not, uh, so, I'm not, I can't use that right now. Right, right. Exactly. So, so after, the, um, well, I'll say an intrusive thought Well, how you'll hear an intrusive thought. And then in unison, everyone will say, thanks for that thought brain, but it's not helpful right now. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's try this. Let's try this out here. Could be a disaster, but we'll see. You have a, th you have a recording of a thought. I have some thoughts here. Okay. We're going to calm down here. Everybody close their eyes. Okay. Take a big, deep breath. One more. Your heart rate's slowing, Do right? this at home if you're listening. Nice? Yeah. Okay. If you go to the party, you will crap your pants and everyone will hate you. That's not true. Thank you for the Thank thought, for the brain, 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 brain. But that's not helpful right now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right Very good. The Grateful Dead wrote far better songs than the Beatles. Thank you for Thank that you thought, thought brain. brain. That's, that's not, not helpful, helpful right, right now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jordan Peterson is the world's leading intellectual and he is totally normal and you are just taking him out of context. <laughs> Thank you for that, Brian. I agree with that. That's not helpful right, right now. Bye-bye. 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 All right, we got two more. If Johnny oh. Carson were alive today, he would greatly respect the comedy of James Corden. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> thought, <laughs> brain. That's not helpful <laughs> right now. Bye-bye. Right Chubby Checker will never have another hit at the top of the Billboard charts, and <laughs> guess what? The twist is not even that good of a song. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> that <laughs> thought, <laughs> brain. That's not, that's not helpful right, right now. Bye-bye. Right bye bye. One more big breath. <sighs> I am cleansed! There you go. Doesn't that feel nice? I want to do that bit every week. Yeah, mm. I could, we could do that. Yeah. Well, the puns have to be true stories. Wait, oh my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to him. What? What is this? Um, I'm dead. Dead is the assistant. Stephanie, and I'm gonna rush. Stephanie, get this. Wow. Wait a minute. Dennis Quaid's assistant. Do we have a camera on her? What the hell? Yeah, we got a camera. Get a mic. What is it? Who are you? What did she sit down? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't want. It's a snap snap I don't know Dennis Quaid. Sit down for a sec. Just calm down. Okay, okay. What the fuck is this? Hi, how are you? It's Snapple. Hi. Hi. So, what's your name? Tiffany. Tiffany, are you are you okay? Is there? Are you all right? Um, I don't know how to respond to that. No, I'm I'm having I'm in a rush. I'm having like a hard moment. Okay, well... I fucked something up with Dennis this morning, and I'm just like... <laughs> I, I'm trying to make it up to him by doing this, but I'm like... So, Den I, I don't see... Here's my problem, Tiffany. I don't, I don't know Dennis Quaid, so I'm a little confused. Look, I, don't shoot the messenger right now. Like, <laughs> I'm his assistant. I don't know what to tell you. He told me... He gave me this address, so obviously he knows Tim Hoodwink. And I'm Tim Heidecker, by the way. I'm not Tim Hoodwink. I don't know what Tim, Tim well, Hoodwink is. I must is. have made a mistake. I must have made a big mistake by saying <laughs> Hoodwink. I'm so sorry. He showed me something you saw. I said, what? Uh. <laughs> okay, so I think you're the same person. I just, I messed up. I made a mistake. It's okay. I just, your, your energy's nuts. I'm sorry. I'm you know? sorry. No, no, no disrespect. I'm just saying you're... I just... I have nice to... guy, Dennis Quaid. Nice oh guy. Oh my God, he's like an angel. Yeah. He's like such a good boss. Yeah. Yeah, he's good to me. But I don't like making him angry for that yeah. reason because he's yeah, good yeah. to me. And I, d I fucked up. What happened? <laughs> what do you mean you fucked up? Well, this morning, um, I was spraying. I was cleaning as a bird, um, like cockatiel, some kind of like cockatoo. Cockatoo. Yeah. And I was spraying his cage uh -huh. with Windex. I was, you know, getting mm -hmm. each line. Okay. And metal cage. It's a metal cage. Uh huh. And all of a sudden, a little bit later, I look, and the bird is fucked up. Oh no. And I'm sorry to say, I don't want to use this language. Freely, I don't usually talk like this, mm -hmm. but her clit. The what? Was engorged. Her clit. The, the clit of the bird was engorged. You're upset with me for the language. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I know. I don't usually go around saying, "Oh, her clit, her clit this, her clit that." I don't talk did. like that. Tits, titties. Well, I, I understand. I, you know, I didn't know. I don't know the anatomy of a bird. I don't know that. Well, I do. Such... She already had an enlarged clit. Okay. 
It went from Cheerio, and now it's looking like a lifesaver gummy. But I'm saying to myself, it's going to go down. Right. Right? I don't like, know. I'm going to yeah. leave it. It's going to go down. An hour goes by, an hour and a half. You're one tasty hour, bird. You want something? Down. You're but one whatever, tasty I'm like, bird. I got to do other it's stuff. <laughs> so I'm making Dennis a snack. He likes onions boiled in water. He blends it up. It's like it gives him, I don't, he likes this. He likes this. Okay. So I do this for him. And all of a sudden, I can't find the bird. And I look over into the pot, and I suppose that the bird went to take flight to be feel free for mm -hmm. her last moment. And at the exact moment that her click could not, oh, okay. you don't like when I say that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is at the I moment like that either, she couldn't yeah. hold herself up anymore, oh, it was wow. right above the pot. Oh, no. So now boiled his, the bird. his onions and water is more like a sock, I would say. No, he doesn't know it's more like a sock because of the bird. You say? Why is it more like a sock? I don't understand why it's more like a why sock. Why is it a sock when a bird goes in there? A sock. Yeah. Like a chicken sock. Oh, oh stock. A stock. A stock. Okay, you said sounds like sock. Like yeah. a man's sock. Stock. I heard sock. Stock. So it's a, st it's a stock. He just hasn't it's found out yet, bur and boiled, I'm trying to figure out what to do. You boiled the bird. I boiled the bird. I didn't do it on purpose. He just... Mm -hmm. Series of events happen. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I am two birds as a replacement. He knows his bird, though. No, but then you get then he has two. Mm. So that's well, better. Birds, birds that's come better and go. Than, I mean, who's this? I'm just a concerned <laughs> two citizen. Two birds. <laughs> he doesn't know those birds. This is his baby. Okay. Well, listen. So what did you? But do? he'll get to know. So them. when you, he's gonna have to, he's gonna find out. I know. He told me I gotta go to Tim Hood Wings house. Give him a fucking Snapple apple. Why do I don't want? I mean, what? <laughs> Why do I want an apple juice from Kevin Spade uh, to Dennis, it's Dennis Spade? Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Dennis do Spade. not mix him up with Kevin Spacey. <laughs> no, I would not never like believe that happens. He's one of the Brat Pack, right? So, <laughs> Kevin Randy Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Quaid? Dennis Quaid's not part he's of the a, Brat Pack. He's in his Absolutely own category. Not, no, you're thinking of Emilio Estevez. Ah, uh, he played uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. What about Randy? Did you meet him, his brother? No. Take it away, Mark. Thank Rebelle. you, ladies and ge gentlemen. Thank you Can so much. Can I join much. in with you at all? Or? Absolutely. Okay. I'd rather you did. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather you did. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Anthony Weiner. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get 
Who got your back in with you think I'm on vacation? Up inside the hard rock Riviera Maya Yo, I got food and it's bad Bad food, all-inclusive resort This tastes like shit I say, yeah Yes, Mark Yes, Mark Let's get our uh, Casey Kasem's Lotto Picks of the Week <laughs> Katie, if anyone plays, I don't play lottery. I don't play lottery, but if I did, we now have a service here providing you with Casey's picks. <laughs> Casey's picks are coming to you live here and, on and Office Hours. The grave. And these are your lotto numbers. These are three numbers that you can play in your daily lotto. Let's hear them, Doug. Want another one? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with Casey's okay, lotto good. picks. Okay, Here, good. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead, Casey. The floor is yours. What are the three numbers people should play? And by the way, if you win. Now on with the countdown. Make sure you uh, hit us up with a Patreon subscription at uh, patreon.com slash office hours live. It's always a great way to support the show. Uh, Casey, what numbers do you have for us today? I'm Casey Kasem. <laughs> Case. Want another I, one? I want the numbers, Casey. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> so you have, you have no numbers? Got gotcha. you. What? Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. What numbers do you have for us, Casey? Sure. Sure. Six. Six. Okay, six, everybody. What else? Want another one? Yes. Uh -huh. We want three numbers, Casey. I'm ready. Go for it. Sure. Oh, give us a number, Case. One. Six? One. Okay. Want another one? Yes. The third number, please. I'm Casey Case. I know, sir. We want the third number for the lotto picks. Want another one? Yes. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Good. S say it. Got you. Get us Casey. the third number, four. please. Four. Okay. We have six, one, four. Those right. are the lotto picks. Want another one? No. Thank you very much. Sure. Listen, folks, a couple of business. We got a great show today. I'm We're going to talk. Kasem. Thank you, Casey. We got... I want a goddamn concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a fucking up tempo record. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Back to hell you go. Oh, no. Back to bye bye. Back to hell. Um, this may seem to be a strange request. Attention, fellow rock and rollers. Don't you wish you could have a home-cooked meal on the road? You can't always chop your breakfast on a mirror, and there's not enough room in the van for an air fryer or a microwave. That's why I invented the John Dwyer Dryer Fryer. I'm John Dwyer. My simple device can turn any clothing dryer into an oven. Hot dogs, frozen burritos, haggis, tater tots, or any other food that you want heated. Wrap the basket with some sweaty t-shirts and jeans and just toss it in. The heat from the dryer and the moisture from the clothes will cook your meal perfectly. Your duds will smell like meatballs, but that's a good thing. Food sure smells better than shit and cigarettes. Plus, the pungent odor will overpower the stench of Mary Jane when the fuzz pulls you over. That's not all. The Dwyer Fryer can hold up to four guitar pedals. And it is specifically designed to fit into any Fender or Marshall amp, so you can hide anything you need. It's perfect for driving through Texas. You want to celebrate my fryer? Hire a choir. That's my fryer. I'm John Dwyer. If you like hot dogs, then you're going to love pizza. So turn any laundromat or green room dryer into your personal kitchen with the John Dwyer Dryer Fryer. Available exclusively at sweatwater.com. It's not weird at all. What's your favorite swear word? You really want me to say? Yeah. You sure? Is it? <laughs> as long as it's cunt. <laughs> ah, it's, it's the kind of one that's a biggie in America. 
but it's nothing here. What is? Oh, right, right. It's, what's your? So, what's your favorite? The, the, I want you to say. The, well, the C, the C word. Yeah, cunt. <laughs> yeah, fucking cunt. <laughs> I can't. I like here here in uh, in Glasgow here in, here in Glasgow. I don't know if it's a Scottish thing in general, but uh, uh, can't get said a lot. But yeah, in in America, it's got a really really it's nasty uh, bad. It's really terrible. Well, it's uh, it's mis- it's it's specific. Of, it's a specific. It, you know, it's specifically I, it's, used America, against women because it's a it's a I, it's a dirty word for a private part. You know. Yeah. But I, I you know I don't is, I don't I use it for anybody. You know. It's I'm not saying I, that she's. A, I mean, the fucking Vic was a cunt this morning. I comes in. In America, me. I think it's got <laughs> a misogynistic sort of way here. Yeah. Um, you, you say cunt for 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 anything. You say oh, I like that cunt. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, guy, yeah. Um, t- 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 we all saw train spotting. Again. We know, we know it's going. Aye, <laughs> I don't know if it's somebody come up to us, and, uh, like somebody who spotted me f- for being on the telly, and went, "You're that cunt for me show. Can I yeah. get a picture?" Yeah. It doesn't mean you're a fucking cunt. You know what I mean? Okay, it's like so a what's neutral, almost like a neutral word, but it's still a swear word. What's a word? What's a hurtful word that you could that you could or would use or like to use that that isn't harmless? Uh, oh. Yeah, you could say cunt and all. It depends. It depends on how you <laughs> it's say like it. aloha for for uh, Scotland. <laughs> it could be used. You know, for there's certain words in certain languages. Yeah. Um, the same word can mean five different things depending on how you say it and the tone and sure. the kind of how you sing it. Yeah, it's it's maybe almost like that. But uh, mate, almost calling somebody mate is almost like the most kind of ah. like the start the, the beginning of violence. You know? Right. Like, ah. you know, mate, just like normal mate. You know, what's that, yeah. mate? Oh you know, yeah, just, just like that. That's a, those are fighting yeah, words. Ah, it's like just saying, mate. It's like you you say it like because well, um, I like a fight's about to start. If you heard heard somebody say to somebody else, you know, what's that, mate? It, it normally means right, something bad's about to happen. I like it's not that. Really, it's not really like that. it's not a swear word, but cunt's, cunt's my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cunt, cunt. <laughs> okay. Cunt. Um. Cunt, cunt, cunt. Uh, Cannon. Scott. In Canada, you there? Hi, can you see me? Oh my God, it's Whoa. Scott from the Kids in the Get Down! Get down, <laughs> Scott! You son of a bitch! How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm all right. Oh, Wait, okay. that doesn't sound good. Well, Wait. let me. I'm, this is a lot of people to suddenly see. I didn't know <laughs> these other three. I don't feel comfortable with them. I have a question about your camera angle. Am I turkey dinner? Am I am I your meal? Because it, it looks like I'm about to be eaten. Well, I'm looking at the Pope's nose. Do you know what that is on a turkey? Do we say that anymore? No, what's the Pope's nose? <laughs> Pope's nose is what uh, Protestants in the, in my country used to refer to the uh, turkey's anus as. <laughs> oh. and, and I would always beg my mom to save me the Pope's nose. She saved me the neck. And the Pope's nose. I, I would this think you could where... take the neck and fuck the Pope's nose with <laughs> okay. it if you wanted to. I mean, what can't you fuck these days, right? I mean, that's... Now, this is the thing. You can fuck anything but an ideology. Anything but that. <laughs> you can fuck holes and orifices and things like that, but not. Not, not points of view. Them. Not in their point. No, because that's precious. Well, it's interesting we'll because it, we call it a point of view. It's not a whole of view. There we go. It's not a whole of view. <laughs> it's not a whole of view. It's a point. I hate to Come interrupt, on. but we have someone else uh, on the line who uh, has some sort of objection who? to no, Scott's what? presence. We're not here. bumping no, him, that's are not we? Fair, you can't bump what? him, Dave. Am I, am I on? Am I on the air? Am I yes. on the air? We're on. We on? have oh you, Dave. God. Do we have Dave? <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi. Uh, can we? Can, is there a way to halt the proceedings uh, just briefly? Uh, is there a way? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'm sorry. I got an, an alert. Um, I got a text alert. That Scott was on uh, your show, yeah, and was discussing the kids in the hall, and uh, that is in violation of kids in the hall bylaws. Wait a minute, uh, because Scott Scott uh, knows this; he does not have quorum. You must have at least three members of the kids in the hall to create quorum in order to discuss the kids in the hall in any context. So, uh, Scott, we're a little, uh, and uh, and by the way, hi, uh, hi, Dave. um, Hi, um, I'm sorry. How do you pronounce your name? Tim Heidecker. Yeah. So Tim, uh, I, I, I've been on. I, look, I'm trying to fix this. I've, I've been trying to get uh, one of the other kids in the hall on a text to give me uh, his proxy so that we could actually form a quorum. Uh, but so, until that comes in, I'm afraid neither Scott or I can discuss anything. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Okay. He's a stickler. <laughs> I'm just here to show off my standing desk. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed how I'm? Look at that. Yeah, it's great. It's great. 
I would. Hey guys, guys, guys! I have good news. Okay. I have I have uh, Kevin McDonald's uh, proxy. Oh, perfect! Okay. <laughs> so okay. we can proceed. Yeah, we can. Just, is, we can tell you anything you want about. Can you can you now. stick around then, Dave, and talk? Or is no, it, sure. We, I kind of I kind of have to. Even if I don't talk, I have to stick around because otherwise Scott's not allowed to talk. <laughs> Did you ever hear about that famous story about Marlon Brando fucking a duck at you know a sex club in Morocco? No, please do tell. <laughs> well, this is a very famous story that Wally Cox used to tell when he wasn't um, uh, being blown by Marlon Brando. One time they were in a they were in Marrakesh and they were uh, they were going to sex clubs and they went to a club where you would fuck a duck through its cloaca, which is the combination of vagina and anus. In the moment you were about to orgasm, they cut the duck's head off. Jesus oh, Christ! Wow. And, and the spasms would give you an incredible yeah. orgasm. But apparently, and, but they would, but they would shout "spoiler alert" to the duck first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert! I, I just, I don't think I'd be able to fit, perform. Oh no, you, you know, would. Yeah. You know, know if I knew I the think, duck was going to die, I'd, yeah, shri- I'd shrivel. Yeah. The, I'd shrivel right up. Would you really? But I, there's people watching, so you might be able to do it. Pull can we? Off. Can we get Angie Dickinson on the line to confirm this story? <laughs> Tom was saying his new impression of Woody Allen is 80 year old Woody Allen. <laughs> Woody, you're going to be at the uh, Cannes Film Festival. You, you're there with Kate Blanchett. What, what's the new movie about? The new movie is about my childhood <laughs> and growing up in Brooklyn. I could have played baseball for the Yankees. Fascinating. But I to focus on comedy. <laughs> Here's the other thing. I, an interviewer talking to Woody would be like, Are you, you don't like to watch your old movies, isn't that true? I never watch my own movies. I watch... What is that? It's fascinating. I watch Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. <laughs> Diane Keaton like, said she would do it, but we can't get any money for it because of all the controversy, you know. I have to do the, my new film in Dubai. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you know, uh, Italy and <laughs> France and all these places won't have me, you know, because of the controversy. My so, new movie I'm doing on an oil rig in international <laughs> waters <laughs> on a rowboat. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, uh, I have uh, an Amir. Uh, this Amir who's it's funding a, it. You know, dual, it's a money laundering. Dueling Woody Allen's from like. Prime yeah. and present day. <laughs> Tell me, you know, how's it going? You know, you just has, has your career been terrific? I tried <laughs> to go to the Second Avenue Deli, but they went out of business Jesus. nine years ago. I talked to my old self, and when he's an old guy, it's like, you know, I should jump off a bridge. <laughs> oh my God! I can't find my clarinet. <laughs> I've urinated my pants. <laughs> Soon ye need to change me. <laughs> Where are my file cards and markers? Where's my old typewriter where I write all my movies? The ribbon's running out. I can't the write ribbon. anymore. <laughs> what do you mean they don't make the ribbon for this typewriter anymore? It's a Remington 2390. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy? Oh, you know what? Actually, we, we have a we oh, have yeah. a special guest, another birthday surprise. So I think he's ready. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at you, Tim! Hi, happy birthday! It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a great day. I have so many memories of some really fun times we've had over the years, and I hope that this birthday is as special as all the other ones that you've had. I hope that in the future, you've got some amazing parties coming up. And I want you to know that all your friends love you and appreciate you for everything you've done. I do have one very funny memory. And that is that we were in Italy one time and you had ordered uh, an egg sandwich as a joke. And sure enough, they came out and they brought you an egg sandwich and we laughed for a really long time. But I hope this is one of many wonderful birthdays for you. I'm thinking about you. Uh, We're all sending you messages and we think you're the best and we hope that you come around on tour again because that's probably one of the top three live shows that I've ever seen. So sending you love, sending you friendship, sending you all the good things and good wishes. And if we end up in some country somewhere and you order one of your egg sandwiches, (laughs) I hope that they bring it out to you because uh, that was one of the best laughs that we'd had in a very, very long time. And you continue to be an inspiration. 
uh, not just as a friend, but as a comedian. Probably one of my top three shows that I've ever seen, uh, either live uh, or uh, in concert or even on TV. Uh, definitely one of my top three favorite comedians. I hope that you have more wonderful shows, more wonderful birthdays, and some uh, fantastic times ahead. And don't forget, me and you as travel buddies is probably one of the best things that we could ever do. Uh, on a plane, in a rent-a-car. Uh, I'd even go on a double bicycle with you. So we're all sending you love, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, Fred. Are you? Uh, 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 is, is this live or a video? I thought I can, so. Did, did you are you think there? This was a cameo. <laughs> Man, is that happy a birthday, buddy? <laughs> we're all out here thinking about you. You are number one, and you are so much fun. And no matter where you are, I hope you're having a blast because you know how to have a blast. You know how to have a good party. Happy birthday, Tim. Are you, is this live? I, are you, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a video. Is this a video that he sent in or it's live? Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> I thought we were taping it. I thought no, you wanted no, no. <laughs> no, you're live on, you're on Zoom. This is a live, uh, you're, I'm, it's like we're having a Zoom call. Oh, well, you can use this tomorrow if you want. No. I <laughs> I write just for you, but others hearing this may find things they would argue.